Sometimes you see a watch that really appeals to you. One that's got the right specs, the right look, and so you, you pull the trigger. But after receiving the watch and wearing it for a while, you realize that maybe it's not really a good fit. And that's how I'm going to introduce our today's watch review. Today I'll be looking at the Zealous Swordfish V2. Stay tuned. Hello internet friends and welcome back to the Quality Time channel. My name is Lester and I'm very excited to share this watch with you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Now, Zealous is one of my favorite, favorite micro brands. Uh, they're based in Singapore and they're renowned among watch enthusiasts for their very bold and modern designs. What they usually do is they often drop a new watch design at a discounted price for maybe a week or so. And then after that time, they ratchet up the price. Maybe, I don't know, uh, fifty hundred dollars something like this so if you're you know keen on one of the designs it's always best to get in on the launch price however a lot of the models don't make it to the you know the two-week mark because they're already sold out in a matter of days they're just extremely popular that way now i've heard about zealous from other youtube channels and i quickly sign up for their email notifications so they will let you you know they'll let you know when new models drop and back in september 2019 uh this model came around, it is the Swordfish V2. Now, Swordfish is a very, uh, they're a very, very popular line of divers, probably the most well-known and uh, best-selling Zealous watch. And um, this is what we're looking at today. Now, when I looked at the pictures and I looked at the specs, they all look good to me. I was just enamored with the watch and after discovering the price is only $299, I was in love. And so, I pulled the trigger. Now, before we get on with the video review, let's do our customary wristwatch check. Today I'm rocking the Certina DS Podium Automatic. And if you've missed my review of this particular watch, feel free to find the link in the video description. All right, let's get on with it. Now, Zealous is run by El Shan Tang, who is a, a watch enthusiast himself who started the company back in 2014. They started with some highly successful Kickstarter campaigns, and then after a while, they just started selling on their own website. They uh, pride themselves not only on their you know, original designs, but also on their use of very innovative materials like carbon fiber and meteorite, titanium, and even things like Damascus steel. So they really try to do something different in, in the micro brand market. Now let's take a look at this watch. This is the Swordfish V2 in the helical blue variant. It is a dive style watch, of course, with a diving bezel, as you can see here in the stainless steel. Okay. The case material is stainless steel as well. You've got an all brushed case with just some slight polished accents where the bracelet meets where the bracelet meets the lug. So there's a mostly brush and slight polished accents, which I think is quite nice. You've got these angular crown guards that really match the angle design of the case. I think that's a really nice touch there. The case size is 42 millimeters, according to the website, but I measured around 43. The case thickness is 13. And with the crystal low, it is 14 millimeters. The lug to lug is 48 millimeters. Uh, and at the male end links, links, it is 53 millimeters. You've got a nice standard 22 millimeter lug width. And size for my six and a quarter inch wrist, it is 188 grams. The bezel on this variant is also in stainless steel, and it's got this very interesting cog design, as you can see here. It is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. Really nice sounding uh, action there. Feels nice and solid. Really no back play at all. It's really quite good. Let's see if I can do it with my, it's a little difficult with gloves, but here we go. Here we go. You've got a screwed on crown and it is signed with the Zealous logo. The crystal is sapphire and it does have a R coating on the underside of that crystal. The dial itself is a sunburst blue. Very nice looking dial with this helical, I guess it's like a swirl shape 
uh, pattern on the front. It looks, it's really nice. You can see the various reflections off the lights in my studio here. It's actually a sandwich dial. So you've got um, the markers is actually a disc underneath the, 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 the top dial here. So that's a really nice touch, gives it a lot of texture. You've got a, also a minute track around the perimeter in white, as you can see. And you've got a nice applied Zealous logo just below the 12 o'clock marker. Now this Swordfish V2 comes in several variations. You've got a full frost loom version, an ice blue version, a midnight blue, a black sand, a black sand PVD, and the more expensive forged carbon. Uh, and I'll pop a, a list of them on the, on the screen so you can see what they all look like. I went for the uh, blue sunburst because it just really spoke to me. I didn't have uh, many blue watches at the time and I thought this looked really nice. The hands on this watch are, I guess you would call them angled cathedral hands. It looks sort of like a stained glass window, but they're very angular to match the rest of the angular aesthetic of the case. You've got a red tipped second hand and also an, a rectangular lollipop uh, on there. The markers again are part of this sandwich dial cutout. So you've got a double baton at the 12, you've got single larger batons at the 9, 6 and 3 and slightly smaller batons uh, for the other hours. This version doesn't have any sort of date complication so it's just a very clean simple watch. Now the loom is one thing that Zealous is very famous for. This one in particular has a combination of both C3 on the hands, bezel mark and markers and BGW9 on that minute track. And I'm of course gonna pop a loom shot for you guys because uh, Zealous loom is generally fantastic. The case back is screwed down and you've got a nice swordfish uh, emboss on the back. The water resistance of this watch is a good and healthy 300 meters. Now the movement of this watch is the venerable Seiko NH35. Of course, uh, if you've been around micro brands for a while, it is the movement of choice. It's got hacking and hand winding. It's got 24 joules and a beats per hour of 21,600, so six ticks a second. The power reserve is roughly 41 hours. Now the band is a stainless steel band. It is a three link H. It's got very nice uh, finishing on the band. You can see got those really nice sharp angles, really great light play. All the links are solid and you've also got solid end links. And these are also screw links, which is really nice. As you can see, don't know if the camera picks that up, but they are screw links although very small. The clasp is a double push button to point with a safety clasp, safety fold on the top. It is fully milled. Quite nice. Snaps in nice and secure. And it's got the uh, Zealous logo on the safety fold over. The clasp has four micro adjusts. Now popping the watch on the time grapher, I managed to get this one about 12 seconds, plus 12 seconds per day with 0 0.5 millisecond beat error, which is within spec of the Seiko NH35. So not too bad. And for this particular watch, you get a one year international warranty from Zealous. So what do I like about this watch? Well, first and foremost is that beautiful blue sandwich dial. I mean, just look at that play with that light. It just looks unreal. And when I saw this, I immediately was enamored with this piece. Um, the loom is also incredible. Uh, the mix of the C3 and the BGW9 makes a really nice uh, combination uh, and it's extremely bright. It's nicely applied. And I'm gonna pop a loom shot here for you guys to take a look at it. It is with, it's spectacular at night. You've got really nice and bold angular styling with throughout the case. And they've used this angles all over the place, not only the case, but the hands, the markers, even the bracelet. I mean, it's just uh, really nice. It reminds me of the 
something like a Seiko Samurai. Really nice and bold. The, they've got the interesting um, angular hands that also match the design. And the solid bracelet, I mean, Zealous really is great at making bracelets and this really is no exception, it's super solid. You've got a screw links, uh, solid end links again, and four micro adjusters is really handy to get that really nice fit. The sapphire crystal is also great, giving it some durability and the AR coating on the underside helps it uh, reduce some reflections in the sun. You've got a solid Seiko movement. You really can't complain too much about the NH35. It's um, easily serviced. Uh, it runs and runs uh, without a lot of maintenance involved. So it is, it's great. And also excellent bezel action as well with this one. Um, no back play at all. It is just a really solid feel and feels nice when you actually acti act activate it. Also, um, you get a tremendous bundle in, inside the box. You get, a, you, you get, not only is it a wooden gift box you get, with it, but you get a watch roll, you get a nice metallic uh, metal warranty card, you get another uh, Horween leather strap. So it's a really great uh, value, I would say. It's worth $2.99, just outstanding. And uh, I've experienced firsthand, you get excellent support from the folks at Zealous. If you order from Zealous, if you have edit, ever have a problem with the watch, I'm confident that they will take care of you. So I think there's a lot to like about this watch. So what don't I like about this watch? Well, there's got to be some negatives if you've even looked at the thumbnail of this video, but um, there are a few and I want to talk about them now. First of all, it is really quite heavy, especially with the bracelet. You're looking at almost 200 grams. Of course, you can swap out the strap uh, to reduce the weight of this watch, and that's uh, what I did to sort of make it more comfortable. And I'll pop some shots of, of this watch on this NATO strap, which I think is a great pairing with that blue dial with the red accents. One other negative I saw or found out eventually was that, uh, do you see the hole where you adjust the spring bars to re remove the bracelet? They're extremely tiny. Uh, I realized that none of my spring bar tools would actually fit in there. And so I actually bought a spring bar tool. This is the Bergeon. Uh, 7767 with a super fine tip and that was the only one that was able to get really get in there and help me uh, re remove the bracelet so that was a little surprising so if you're going to get this watch make sure you've got a very fine tipped spring bar tool if you ever want to remove that bracelet the fact that you've got uh, no uh, drilled lug holes also doesn't help the uh, you know the ease of use of that bracelet so that's a uh, little small little niggle, I guess, but make sure you got that spring bar tool handy. Of course, this is the NH35, but this has no date, which means that when you unscrew the crown and you pop it up to the first position, nothing happens because, well, the date is, uh, there's no date displayed. So it's got a ghost position, basically. You need to pull it to the second position in order to, of course, hack and you can also Change the, change the time there, but you've got a ghost position. Some people, uh, that I guess that bugs some people. It's not a big deal, but um, I thought I would mention it. Also, when you screw the crown in completely, and if I can do this with my gloves, once you screw it down, the crown doesn't quite align with the, it's almost there, but it doesn't quite align upright with the, the orientation of the case. So. Like if that's really tight in there, it's not going to go any further. But again, a small detail. One thing that wasn't a small detail was that when I got the watch originally, the I had some a serious uh, bezel misalignment. Basically, the the top triangle was not lining up with the whole gold marker, and I'll pop a picture of that for you guys to take a look at. But credit to zealous they were able to fix this for me and so they happily took the watch back and sent me an, another one and, and the bezel alignment on that one was really nice so no problems there i have to also mention that one other thing that happened uh, after uh, wearing the watch for a while was that the top pin for the bracelet was also sort of coming loose by itself just by regular wear and again when i pointed this out to elshan uh, he happily sent me a new bracelet, so they solved that problem. So that's why I said that Zealous has great support because I've experienced it myself. 
if there, you guys have issues with the watch, uh, I'm sure they'll take good care of you. And so you can order with confidence. I also think that for this watch, it can't be a daily for me soon because it doesn't have a date. I prefer dates, at least a date complication on the watch. I often forget what the date is. Even though I do remember the day, I don't know the date. So that's really helpful. But those that don't like a date will not mind that at one bit. Also, the one year warranty is a bit short, but with such great service, if you see anything wrong with the watch, I'm sure it'll take good care of you. Although I still think that the warranty should be at least two years. The mail and links on the bracelet do make the watch wear a lot bigger. And I think the only thing I can say is that it's just too big for my wrist. My wrist is uh, six and a quarter inches. And when I put this on, it's just a hulking piece of metal. I guess I, when I purchased the watch, I didn't really consider how thick and heavy it would actually feel. And if you, of course, if you have larger wrists than mine, it shouldn't be that big a deal. I can still pull this off, but uh, the weight, in addition with the male, long male end links, really makes it a, a big wear. It's just right on the edge of it being overhanging my wrist. So for me, it's just a little too big. So what are my final thoughts about this watch? Well, it is an excellent offering from Zealous, although it is quite chunky. It is made from excellent materials. It's got a rock solid movement inside. It's got an incredible looking dial and some really wicked loom. So it's a really solid piece. However, you gotta have a, it's pretty heavy and so you better have a pretty big wrist to pull this off. If you're risking handling, handle it, then it's get, it gives, gets a strong recommendation for me. Now, the good news is that for us smaller wristed folk, Zealous did release a 40 millimeter swordfish. Now, the bad news is that they're all sold out, so I was unable to get one. But here's to hoping that they release uh, an, a V2 of that particular model because that would be pretty killer. Part of the watch collecting journey is experiencing different watches and discovering your own preferences. And I think I'm at a point in my journey where uh, things like thickness and weight actually do matter. And it's something I really didn't consider when I bought this watch. At any rate, it's really difficult to do better than this for $300. It's uh, not a great for, for my particular wrist, but like the video says in the title, it's not you, it's me. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for stopping by. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future watch reviews. And please leave your comments below. I love hearing about uh, what you guys think about my reviews and what you think of this particular watch. Do you have the Zealous V2? Uh, Zealous Swordfish V2, uh, do you like it? Let, me, let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for spending some quality time with me. Take care now.